welcome to part two of my hair update where I go back to my big chop to me growing my hair, to me dyeing my hair, and re-dyeing my hair. If you didn't see part one, definitely go watch that first and then come back and finish up here, which is part two. Enjoy. And that is where I am right now. Right now, right now my hair is a blowout and then I just did two big chunky flat twists going into the back. Um, because me and my hair are fighting right now. Like we are not friends. We're still in love, but we're totally ignoring each other, rolling our eyes, you know, all of that. I just, we're not getting along right now. And I know I'm not the only person, so that's why I decided to make this video because I felt like there's somebody out there who can relate to what I'm feeling. So, um, definitely let's start leaving comments down below, even if you have to press pause because I'm probably going to ask a lot of questions. But press pause and let me know where are you at in your journey. Are you guys fighting? You and your hair? Mine is called Raquel. Me and Raquel don't like each other right now. Like, seriously. Um, and this is kind of like an extension of my last video. Um, which, that video, the comments really pissed me off. Um, because people, people act like they can, they can give you a freaking hair analysis through a video. Like, I know my hair. Like, what are you talking about? So I hate when people do that. And I can definitely tell when someone is being, like, 100 and respectful. Because you can be honest and respectful. But there has been a few comments where I'm just like, really, dude? Like, what are you saying? Okay, so, Ebony Irving. Hi, Ebony. I see you comment on my um, videos a lot. And thank you so much for your viewership. You're so sweet. And she hit the nail right on the head as far as how I feel. She put, I thought your hair was cute before you stopped recording. That was in my other video. I'll link it if you press the little information bubble. You can um, see that video. But she's saying that as her hair has gotten longer, the shape is odd. That is so very true. Okay, this is the one where I was like, really? Like, watch what you comment. So this person put, the roots are your health is... Your roots are your healthy part of your hair. The rest of your hair looks damaged and thin, but it's probably easier to work with because of that. May need to do a mini cut. Which that is kind of true, but are you freaking kidding me? Like, my hair does not look thin. It's not thin. It's, it's not damaged as in, I hate the word damaged. My hair is a different texture where it's colored because that's what color does it does change your hair I, I trim my hair often now that it's colored um but like ebony said our hair grows different in different areas so my ends are not thin it's just because i've never had a professional cut so if this piece is longer and this piece is shorter, when I'm doing my hair, it may look like my ends are thin, but they're really not. It's just I need, or they look damaged. They're not. Like, I look through my hair, and if they're split ends, I cut it. So my hair is not damaged. It's just the simple fact that if it's a piece longer, a piece shorter, and if you're pulling pulling it it's gonna look thin because it's only a little piece of hair that's longer and the other part is shorter so it's not an even you know line where it looks thick my hair is not thin at all it is color damaged from my color um but it's not damaged where i need to big chop or anything um because i was thinking about that because i'm so over the red color so i was like you know maybe i should big chop or you know, I don't know. So I either want my hair black or I want a big chop. But, you know, at this point right now, I'm okay with this color. I don't know what color this is. It's not really red. I guess it's brown. Right? I guess it's brown. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I'm not going to get into many more of the comments because the comments that really just bother me is where somebody can actually sit on the other side of the screen and say your hair is damaged. Like, no. Damaged is such a rude word when it comes to natural hair. Like, how dare you? My hair is not damaged. It may be the texture changed from my color, but my hair is not damaged, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, so where I'm at in my journey, that's the important part, not me getting 
upset over comments but um where i'm at in my journey is i i'm just not feeling it i'm not i'm not feeling it and i need a break <laughs> so that's why i have been pulling out my versace wig and you know i yesterday i blew my hair out and i'm okay with it blown out like i'm just gonna keep doing my flat twist going back um and just making sure it's moisturized and all that good stuff but yeah i'm just over it at this point i don't like this part of the journey i can't wait until it's over you know and i think a lot of people go through that that stage especially even your favorite youtubers and i feel like nobody really opens up the conversation um i know chime just recently did a video about her um straightening process and she said that it did something to her hair so she did open up the conversation and i didn't understand what she was going through at the time but i totally get it now like seriously i feel like i'm transitioning again because i don't know and you know that leads me into my other question you know if you dyed your hair did you regret dyeing your hair leave a comment below just really be transparent because somebody who watches this video probably will read the comments and they may be thinking about coloring their hair so let's help them with their decision leave a comment below did you regret dyeing your hair um etc so you know the question for me or the answer for me is yes <laughs> i really do regret coloring my hair when i was first contacted by cream of nature for the color crush series um I told they asked me how would I want my hair dyed and I said I was like I do not want to dye my whole head I just want you guys to dye the ends of my hair um at for like a ombre look even though my hair is not super long I wanted that ombre look one because I thought it would be dope and two because I knew that if I didn't like the color I could just cut the ends off and not you know color process my whole head where i would still have more virgin hair than colored hair um but you know the stylist convinced me to do my whole head and oliver is amazing i love him he's an awesome colorist he definitely did the thing on my hair because i love how he did the balayage technique because even though i'm trying to cover up the color because where he put certain um color and um, like darker colors and lighter colors even when i dye my hair it still has that same effect no matter what i put on top of it so yeah he really did a good job but i'm just over the red and you know somebody on my instagram put that um she tells people her advice to people is if you're dyeing your hair red you're going to be a redhead forever unless you big chop um so yeah so that is the best advice i can give you now that i am going through my color journey you know at first at first i loved it then i hated it then i loved it again and now i'm over it <laughs> so i feel like i have enough experience now to give you an honest opinion um the red is a lot of fun initially um but you know as it fades um as it changes because it either like at first my hair was super red and then it started to fade it turned to this like orange color and then like if i'm in natural light it's a certain color when i'm in indoors with like you know lights it's a different color if i'm taking a picture it's a different color so yeah that is so annoying where it's just so many different reds and i really hated it when it started turn turning orange that's when i started to be over it is when it started looking orange so you know that's why i did the black oh yeah that's the other thing somebody put on my um my video that i wasn't supposed to wash my hair before i dyed it but i followed the instructions and that's what i did <laughs> um it says apply it says directions apply beautiful collections directly from the bottle to shampoo towel dry hair process 25 minutes at room temperature okay, so this is the clairol's beautiful collection moisturizing color so that's what i used but it didn't do anything like when I first used it, it did color my hair, but it was like a cherry cola color, I like to call it. Um, but seriously, after like a week or two, it's my hair was red again. <laughs> and now look at it, it's like brown. 
um but i'm okay with this color this is definitely better than that bright orange that it had turned into because i was not feeling the orange hair like seriously um so yeah but anyway so people on my instagram and facebook and everywhere have been giving me um advice on what i can do to get my hair black although i'm not striving for black anymore because you know everybody's um, tips were pretty good like some people like there were some stylists who really knew what they were talking about talking about you know to get the red out you got to have a gray base a blue base a black base whatever base and then do it like they were getting really deep into it but you know I talked to two stylists that I really trust which is Jennifer Rose out of New York and Oliver who did the color and they both advised me not to do any permanent black dye on top of my already dyed hair because it's just going to dry it out more damage it and yeah they said not to do it so I'm not doing it I'm just going to transition back to my natural black color so yeah and I'm not going to keep doing the rinses like I said in the other video because they also said not to do that because that would dry your hair out too if you keep rinsing it um, so yeah, I'm I'm okay now with the color. Now I just have to learn to love my hair again because now that my roots are growing out, I, I now see the different textures. Like, you know, my roots are definitely more kinky than the rest of my hair. Um, I guess with the color process that my texture really did change because, you know, um, I guess it's more curly and then my roots are not as curly it's more kinky so that separation really just messes with my styles because my roots are well first of all that's another thing somebody said um, something about the roots is just because of the texture difference that is partially true but I have the same you know I had a similar problem when my hair was 100% virgin natural hair I had the same issue and I think the issue with the root area is one for me I know that I don't particularly make sure product is at the you know the hair right there so I think that I just need to pay attention more and really get that product you know from root to tip um, because usually um, the product, I usually just have it on the length of my hair. And sometimes I even neglect the ends. So I just need to pay attention that the product is from root to tip. So that's a tip for you guys if you have issues with your root area. Because like I said, it, it didn't just happen now. It happened before, but it's even more so now because of the texture difference. Um, so this is, I mean, this is the first time I've had to deal with two textures really since I've been colored. Because of course... All of it was colored for a minute and then I had some new growth but now that the new growth is longer I'm really seeing the texture difference um, so yeah I just have to I'm transitioning I mean I'm still natural but I'm transitioning now because of my textures are different even though both of them are natural but one is color processed and one is virgin and it's a pain in my butt so I am officially a transitioner so definitely comment away let's talk about where we are in our journey let's you know uplift one another it's gonna be okay all that good stuff but yeah let's just talk I miss you guys so yeah let's converse in the um comments and yeah I'll see you in my next video you guys I'm gonna go now goodbye curls Mwah.